Hey guys, it's Zach from Engadget, and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Note. So we, we saw this uh, first at IFA in Berlin, so I'll give you a, a quick uh, walk around of the device. If you've seen the Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, it actually looks very similar to this. So it, it's essentially a, a larger version of the S2. And what we have here is a 5.3 inch um, Super AMOLED display. So it's not a, an AMOLED Plus display like we have on the Galaxy S2, um, but it's still very bright, very vibrant. Uh, we're not even at the full brightness here. So up on the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then on the right side there's the power button, right there. And then there's nothing else on the right side. On the bottom we have a micro USB connector. And then this is the S Pen, and I'll come back to that in just a minute. And then over on the left side of the phone we have a volume rocker over here. And then back up to the top, that 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. And so the phone actually has uh, an FM radio app, and so you can plug in your, your own headphones here, and then it uses the, uh, the headphone cord as the antenna for the app. So uh, as you can see here, right above the Samsung logo, we have a, a little um, earpiece grill. So you, you, this is a phone, and it's a fully functional phone. Even though it is quite large, uh, you can use it to, to hold it up to your ear and, and make phone calls like you would with the, uh, the Galaxy S2. Uh, you may want to use Bluetooth uh, with it though, or, or a headset, just because it really is quite large. Um, not sure if you can, can tell from the, the size of my hands, but it is a, a very generously sized phone, so you're not necessarily going to want to hold this up to your ear to, to make phone calls. Um, over at the bottom here we have a rectangular home button, and then there is the, uh, the menu button there, and the return button. So I'm going to walk you through some of the features here. I'll go back to the S Pen. Um, as you can see, it, it fits pretty flush with the bottom of the device. But we can pull it out, like so. And then it looks just like a stylus, although it has a, a couple unique features. Um, the, the biggest of which is this tiny little button here. You can't really see it on the video. But when you press this button, you activate some uh, unique features on the display. So you can actually watch it can hold down the button it is a little bit hard to find though so I'm gonna there we go and then I can scroll up to access the menu and then you can scroll left and right when you're in another app so let's go to maps and then I can scroll right to go back to the the previous page so you don't actually have to drop the pen because you you can't use the pen to control these touch sensitive buttons at the bottom you can obviously tap the home button if you want but you, since you can't go back or launch the menu with the pen, uh, you have to use these unique gestures. And you can only do so while pressing down that button. Um, so this is, it's both a, a cell phone um, and a, it's kind of like a, a hybrid um, smartphone and tablet. It's running uh, Android 2.3.5, gingerbread. See, I'm used to, to pushing that return button there. Even though you can, and again, if you drop your finger off of it, it's really hard to find that button again. I'm not even sure if you can see it on the video, but it, it's there. So we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, press the button and lift up to go to the settings screen. And so you don't have to hold the button to select it, just to use those two gestures. So I will go to About Phone. And then we are, we're currently on the Vodafone UK network. So there's a, a SIM card slot in the back, and this, this one is unlocked, so you can just pop in any SIM card. And then I'm going to go back by, again, it's hard to get used to, but I'm going to push that and then I can go back. And then as you can see we're running 2.3.5, which is gingerbread. You can see at the bottom there. And then I will go back to the home screen and just tap there. Okay, so we have some unique um, features that are unique to the Note. And it's called the Note because it's, it's a, a pen tablet as well. So you can use the S Pen to sketch in some of the sketching apps. Uh, you can use it to write a memo. And what you can also do is if you're holding down the button, you can double tap the screen and it'll bring up a, a quick notepad. So this is the equivalent of just having a sticky around. And so we can actually draw in any color that you want on this quick note. And so I'll do the Engadget logo in red, I suppose. And then you can click save, and then you 
automatically save that note. And so you can go back up over to the S Memo app. It'll show you the gestures that you can use. And you can pull it up. And so when you pull it up, it, it gives you a little bit more space to work with at the bottom here. So you have to double tap to, to activate it again. Um, obviously not, not a great sketch artist here. Um, but you can, you can doodle, you can make notes. It's very accurate. So I haven't even calibrated the display, but it is responding exactly where I'm touching. And I'm going to cancel out of there, discard the memo. And then one of the really cool features here, and I'm going to tap this with the, the uh, stylus, is if you tap and hold down on the display, it'll actually take a screenshot. And then it'll open it up in the drawing app. So if you want, you can actually draw on the screenshot that you just took. So I can circle whatever, make notes, sign a document, whatever you want to do. And then you can share it through email. Um, you can post it to Twitter if you're signed up to Twitter. You can send it over Wi-Fi. You can send it over Bluetooth. You have a lot of sharing options. So uh, Samson's been, been offering... Uh, see, you gotta got to get used to these gestures. So let me push that button again and then go back. So Samsung has, has offered the, the built-in screen capture on, on several of their other devices. Um, but this is the first time that we can actually use a, a pen to mark it up like this. And so, you know, it, it definitely comes in handy. It's nice to be able to take screenshots, especially for, for our review purposes. But being able to take a screenshot and then mark it up is, is definitely a plus. So I'm going to hit cancel and then go back and discard it. Um, and then there are some, uh, go over to S-Choice, we have some Samsung apps that are designed specifically for the Note. And then we can go to Applications, and then one of the apps that I downloaded earlier, Hello Crayon, uh, is here. So it only works in landscape, and we can just rotate the display. And there's an accelerometer, of course, as well. And so you can get in there and, and start drawing right away, but then you can also open up here, and then choose some crayons to, to draw with. So let's do, uh, I'm going to make a new document. And then I'm going to select Engadget Blue. It's not exactly Engadget Blue, it's just light blue. There we go. I'm going to minimize that. And then we can actually just start drawing on here. Uh, menu over here. And so we can save from here. And then you can share it, or you can save it to external storage. So let's share it and see where we can send it. Alright, so we have similar options to when we took a screenshot before. So again, really hard to press this little this little S Pen button. But once you get it, you can go back. So it, it is nice that you don't have to leave the <laughs> I just double tapped. It's nice that you don't have to, to drop the pen to, to tap this button here. Um, but yeah, just to, to summarize, this is the, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note. Um, it'll be available in a couple of weeks. And we have a 5.3 inch uh, Super AMOLED display. It's not Super AMOLED Plus, just Super AMOLED 1280 by 800 pixels. Uh, and then we have, a, it's powered by a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor. And we have a couple cameras. There is a front facing camera, it's 2 megapixels. Then on the back we have an 8 megapixel camera and an LED flash. And then uh, can shoot 1080p video as well. And um, we have GPS, so I'm going to open up the map. It's actually doing something very odd earlier. Um, we've only had it on Wi-Fi so far, and we're not connected again, of course. Hopefully we can get connected. But what it was doing was it was jumping back and forth, and you can see this in the screenshots. But between here and between the Makuhari Mesa in, um, in Tokyo, Japan, so I have actually just, just come from Tokyo. I was there a couple weeks ago for SeaTech. And it seems like that location was cached in this device as well. So someone may have actually brought this device to the, uh, to the Mesa in Japan. Someone from Samsung, we assume. Uh, but we do have GPS here. It seems that it's not wanting to connect to my Wi-Fi network. But we'll figure that out later. Okay. Um, but here we are in London, it's cached from before. Uh, the device, it's, it's pretty lightweight for, for its size. It weighs about 6.3 ounces. Um, so that's not, not too bad. And it is small enough to fit into your pocket. So if you have decent sized pockets. 
and I'm able to hold it comfortably in my hands, uh, but I do have fairly large hands. If you have smaller hands, you, you might have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, but again, it is the Samsung Galaxy Note, and uh, it should be shipping soon.